What's going on guys? Today we are going to be doing a video that I'm very very excited about. This is our first ever closet tour as a couple. We wanted to kind of just make this video to show you guys some of our favorite pieces, some of our most hype pieces. And also to show you guys that I have better clothing style than Kai's, which a lot of you guys already know. This isn't a competition, okay? This is not meant to be a competition, but if you guys want, you can comment down below who you think has the better style, collection, and maybe organization. This is her side, this is my side. I'll go first, because I feel like you have some bangers. Also, we're not gonna be showing sneakers. There's no sneakers involved in today's video, but we will be showing Mina's sneaker collection very soon, maybe in the next month or so. It's been over a year since we've seen what she's had, and she has added a lot of heat. So we're gonna go ahead and get things started, but before we do get things started, I need to talk to you guys about something that's going on with SeatGeek. So quickly, I'm gonna talk about that, so check this out. Okay, so First things first, huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to go to any concert or events, use my code KAIST to get yourself $20 off. Also, I've got some exciting news to share. SeatGeek has invited me to Unruly Citizens Festival, headlined by Future and Juice World in Dallas, Texas at the end of July. It's going to be crazy fun. I'm, uh, hopefully, I can see some of you guys there. And because of this event, we've done a special promo code for anybody who wants to go. If you use the code UNRULYKAIS, you get $10 off your ticket on SeatGeek. Even if it isn't your first purchase, usually it's only if it's your first purchase, but for this festival, we're doing the $10 off even if it's not your first purchase. So don't forget to click the link in my description. It's gonna be down below. Use the code UNRULYKAIS, and hopefully I see some of you guys in Dallas, Texas at the end of this month. I cannot wait. It's gonna be absolutely lit. Future Juice World, like, bro, it's gonna be crazy. All right, now, back to the closet tour video. Shout out to SeatGeek. Okay, so now let's get things started. We'll start out with my side. This is my half of the closet. I basically put like pants, shorts, all on this side. This is mainly like jackets and stuff that I don't wear too often just cause it's kind of harder to reach. Like I have jerseys and whatnot, but this is like the most important to me. This is my shirts and hoodies. I wear a lot of hoodies even when it's hot in LA. Really? We didn't notice. It's just always been my style. And then up here is just my like kind of t-shirts that I don't really care about and hoodies that I don't really care about, but I still wear often. So I guess we'll start off with the bottoms. Let's Let's just talk about my go-to pants right now. It is these Stone Island like track pants. I've always been a fan of Stone Island, but I've never really had too many Stone Island pieces because there wasn't really a store. About a year ago, they opened up the Stone Island store in LA. So that's where I've been getting a lot of my Stone Island. One thing about me is when I find the, ra uh, the right pants, whether it's a jean or if like it's a track pants like this, I wear them nonstop because I'm I'm super picky. I am a huge fan of G-Star. G-Star jeans, Mina put me onto these. Thank you for giving me credit before I could complain. Before Mina and I started dating, I was wearing like Paxson jeans, which are cool, I like Paxson jeans, but if you want quality that lasts long and is really, really comfortable, G-Star is the way to go. I've never paid this much for jeans. They're like 150 to like 200, depending on the, the style, but I have a whole bunch of them. So whenever you see my jeans, I know people always ask me and I always tag them, it's G-Star. I think G-Star might be the one company where I'm like dying for them to hit me up for like a promo or like a sponsorship or even send me free product because I love it so much. But it hasn't happened yet. They like one of yours too, right? Yeah, they DM'd me too. They DM'd you? Yeah. All right. I have like one off-white camo pants. These ones are pretty fire too. These ones are like originally a thousand and I got these for like 300. So shout out to my cousin that works at Barney's. Gucci shorts. I got these last summer. I think I got these out in Paris. You guys did not know designer is cheaper in Europe. So I try to stay away from buying, buying designer personally out here in America just because I know it's a little bit cheaper overseas. So I got these discounted. These are pretty cool. Stone Island shorts have been my go-to shorts for the summertime. I got them in three colorways. You see that stone island patch 
just a little bit of detail subtle flex also comfort is very key for me especially as i get older and then another huge thing for me is uh basketball shorts i love basketball shorts mitchell and s shorts like these camo chicago bulls ones and i feel like bull shorts go with everything so i have a few different bull shorts like even these green bull shorts like you can't even go wrong with that the bape warrior shorts you know i had to get these like this is one of my favorite warrior jerseys ever and then you got just like travis scott track pants we got some more gucci track pants the ones with the snake on the side bone island sweatpants mina got me these for my birthday in italy gucci pants i don't really buy gucci Gucci personally anymore. I kind of feel like it's getting played out. Mina disagrees. Oh yeah, here we go. Amiri jeans. I only paid $500 for these, originally a thousand. I can fit like 80 racks in my Amiri's. <laughs> so yeah, so this is my first pair of Amiri jeans. I don't think I'll get addicted to these the way I was addicted to G-Star when I first tried them on, but man, these things are comfortable. All right, going into some of my jackets. I'm not gonna talk about the track pants because those are just basic like ones, like Adidas ones. I love the cheap ass Adidas $45 track pants. You can't go wrong with those. Got the most hype one, I guess I'll show those, is the Bape ones. These are so, so comfortable. I love these. So jackets, we got the Supreme Nike jacket. I got this in the gray colorway. One of the companies that, uh, you know, shows me a lot I love is chalk line and they made me a one-of-one one jacket that's inspired by living in the bay area my entire life and then moving to hollywood and you know starting my career out here not starting but continuing my career out here so they kind of pay tribute to that obviously it says my name on the back it says hype beast on the sleeves and then dream crew on the front chalk line has showed me so much love i've done projects with them they send me a whole bunch of jackets so i got a whole bunch of chalk line huge wrestling fan so they send me like the the dx ones the vintage wrestling ones and then this one was a friends and family one we made inspired by the old Chicago Bulls warm-ups. So Chalkline always taking care of me. More projects coming with them soon, so stay tuned. Going on to some more hyped pieces, I guess. We got the Supreme Camo Jacket. I think this one was like in honor of them opening the Brooklyn store because I know they had like a box logo that matches. And then we got my favorite TNF, the Mountain parka jacket is this a parka i think this is a parka yeah i could be wrong if i'm wrong flame me in the comments north face supreme i got this retail on the supreme website so i was so happy that i hit on that one off-white jacket this one is actually pretty fire but i don't wear this one too much and then my 400 dollars supreme oh, poncho in case it ever rains in la i don't wear jerseys a lot but i like to collect them ever since i was in high school when you know the throwback jersey was a trend i've always been into them and then just being able to collect something from some of my favorite NBA players has always been something that I've, I've loved doing. Oh wait, I also forgot about my leopard boxing robe. So we got the Bape Warriors jersey, Kevin Durant, Seattle Supersonics rookie jersey, OVO jersey. This one is kind of like a Bulls ripoff, but pretty cool. Supreme jersey. This one is also inspired by Warriors. This is, if you guys did not know, it has that same vibe from the retro that they used to wear. Probably one of the most hated Warriors, Draymond. This is the sleeved black Kobe jersey. When Adidas had the NBA contract, they were doing these sleeved jerseys. Mitchell and Ness sent me this right here. This is the Travis Scott Astro World jersey. This one is pretty cool. They also gave me this right here. This is a Del Curry Charlotte jersey. Gold Bulls jersey in the champion. And then we've got the new version, which is the Mitchell and Ness. More Warriors jersey. We got the Steph Curry Rookie Authentic. We got the Steph Curry Rookie Orange. And then we've got the Nike Steph Curry Authentic. This is the one that they actually play in. Of course, we got to have the Toon Squad. Squad. We got the Steph Curry college jersey. He played at Davidson. Of course, we got to get a rookie Kobe jersey, number eight. Chicago Bulls, number 12, Michael Jordan jersey with no name because somebody stole his jersey and this was the only number available. So they had Jordan play for one game in number 12. Last but not least, we got the Kobe All Star jersey. This is the last jersey he wore as an All Star before he retired. So I thought it was necessary to pick this one up. Moving on to the shirts and the hoodies, I'll kind of quickly go through some of my favorite here this is like one of my favorite t-shirts the supreme jordan shirt it's so fire super simple one of the shirts that i don't wear often but i probably should is my supreme lv box logo i'm not really a box logo guy i don't go try to collect all of them but this is one where i was like i really wanted it
wanted it and I got it for a good price. I paid like 1200 for this and now it goes for like over 2000 I believe. But look at this quality, like the tags ripped off. So shout out to LV. I got the new cause tee right here. Bape tee, Mina got me this. Mina surprised me with this one. Thank you for that. Custom Chinatown Market shirt that I made at Complex Con. I got a few Chinatown Market pieces. I feel like that's one of like the best brands out right now. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of my Travis merch because I've made a whole video about all my Travis merch. So if you guys wanna watch that, just search Crew TV, Travis Merch, you'll find it. This is the new shirt that I picked up, 49ers T. This is from 1998. This shirt is older than some of you guys watching this. Jerry Rice Vintage 49ers T. I got this from round two. This is probably my favorite Travis Scott shirt, and uh, it's not even in my size. This is like a 2XL, and it's huge, so I probably will never wear it, but I had to pick it up. Another shirt that Mina got me was the uh, Chinatown Market bootleg Papa Smurf. She says it looks like me, so maybe if my beard was white kanye of course kids see ghost i love kanye i love his merch over the last actually since he first started i've been collecting his merch so i don't have much of it here that's like all in a box and i keep those like sealed up because i don't want them to mess up but i do have a lot of it it's just not here right now we got bape off-white um uh, more astro collection off-white more chinatown market this one's pretty fire. Supreme CDG box logo. I had this one in white too. I don't know where it is. You have it, right? Yeah, oh, we'll we show it on. Yeah, you have it. Getting into some designer vibes. I got the Givenchy, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing my favorite Givenchy shirt that Mina says I wear too much. And that's why I bought this one because I was like, all right, I wear this one too much. I got to get another one. This is probably another one of my favorite Travis merches right here. This one's pretty fire. And then I got just some of my merch, obviously, dreamcrew.com. Make sure you guys check it out. New drop every single Saturday. Oh, we got the Bape football jersey, the Bape champion football jersey. This is this is, I mean, like, I don't even need to tell you why this is fire. LV Supreme. This is the camo jacket. This is actually from Mag Park. Yeah, are you trying to see the print? Is that why you came so close? Mm -hmm. The funny story about this is this was actually worn by Jason Derulo to the MTV Awards. And then after he got rid of it and they sold it at Mag Park. So I bought it. So shout out to Jason Derulo for not wanting this. What song is he saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what songs. Jackets, we got like the Babe Adidas track jacket, Travis Scott, Jordan brand jacket, my Gucci jacket. We got some Hype Land, shout out to my boy Jordan. Our collab is dropping soon too, so stay tuned for that. This jacket right here is probably my favorite purchase ever. This is an off-white Montclair collaboration. I bought this in Vegas a few years ago, and I've probably wore this more than anything in this closet. I was so scared to buy this, because this was like one of those items where it was like $1,200, and I had never spent that much on a jacket before but i pulled the trigger and i'm so happy i did because i wear this so much and then this is another this is probably my most expensive jacket this is a balenciaga windbreaker this thing goes for two thousand dollars but i only paid 350 dollars for it because you know what i'm saying I have a lot of windbreakers. I feel like you could wear them in the summertime, in the wintertime. They're always comfortable. They're always keeping you warm. So like I said, I'm not a huge box logo guy, but we do have the Supreme box logo, the green one. I also have the Skrawal, how do you say it? Skrawalski. Skrawalski, but that's downstairs because I'm thinking about giving that away or I'm thinking about selling it. I, I haven't decided yet. We got the OVO Marakami collab. We've got it in the rainbow colorway and then we got it in the OG colorway. Shout out to Gap. Gap sent me a custom hoodie that says QOP, so it's pretty dope. Travis Scott Jordan hoodie, off-white hoodie, Travis Scott jacket, the new Supreme Nike collaboration, Kidsy Ghost, Jordan brand Union, Travis Scott. Oh, this one is my favorite hoodie. This is my favorite hoodie in my collection. I got this one in Las Vegas for the Life is Beautiful Festival. So fire. You got the Grim Reaper on the back. I wish I bought more of these, but... Man, this thing is just so fire. Oh yeah, and then we got the Supreme Jordan hoodie as well. This was a must cop for me. I don't know if there's anything else. Like, I just got like more basic hoodies, t-shirts. I just got a whole bunch of t-shirts that I just wear daily. I got some vintage shirts like this. This one's pretty cool. NBA Finals, Lakers, and the New Jersey Nets. So this is when Kobe was on his uh, three-peat journey. Oh, one of my favorite movies ever. Gotta get this one, Step Brothers. 
Fire. I love this movie. Oregon Ducks. This one's pretty cool. I got this from Mag Park. Donald Duck, Oregon tie-dye shirt. I like vintage shirts. That's why I have a lot of vintage shirts. Nipsey Hustle Cool Kicks t-shirt. They did not sell these because obviously they're not trying to profit off of someone's death. But in honor of him, they made a Cool Kicks Nipsey shirt because Nipsey actually used to shop at Cool Kicks. And they gave me one. So shout out to Cool Kicks. Rest in peace, Nipsey. I think that pretty much wraps up my side of the closet. Like I said, I'm not going to show you guys everything. But I feel like I kind of showed you guys everything that I really love. Oh, I can kind of show these. I just got these swim sh shorts. This is a collaboration between Off-White and uh, I don't know how you even say the name of this company. But this is like one of those well-established swimming companies. And they did a collab with Off-White. Look, it just says Off in quotation marks. You've got the orange aglets. And then, uh, yeah, on the back, it's just got the Off-White logo. Fire. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Was it worth um, $295? Yeah, you might have just got checked. Okay, well, I don't have those shorts anymore, but now it's time to check out Mina's side of the closet. So hopefully you guys like mine. I think I have a pretty dope collection of stuff, and uh, yeah, let's see what Mina's got cooking. Yeah. Now we're gonna move on to my side, which is obviously the better side, so we save the best for last. Okay, so mine is kind of, like my organization is a little bit different from Kaisa's. I have like my bottoms are here. I have like little sets here. I did my dresses, and then everything is like color coordinated. So you'll notice there's like black, pink, blue, gray, white whatever so I'll just kind of start from one end and then I don't know if you guys really want to see like my sets there's nothing really interesting here they're pretty girly vibes um the only thing maybe you guys would remotely like is I did just get this opening ceremony so it's like sweats and a, like a, I don't know what this is like a little crew neck so that's pretty cool to put together I like doing sets because it's just easy you throw it together put on a pair of sneakers and you're done another set that I absolutely love is the Bape Adidas you have the shirt pants one of my favorite sets for sure it's just kind of unfortunate that the top is really big because apparently Kais thinks I'm a medium. I don't know. I also have a pair of Don Island sweatpants. I like the quality. It's super soft if he touches so that's what attracted me to get it. It is kind of big because I think it's from the men's section which you'll notice a lot of my clothing items are from the men's section. I do have a lot of like designer leggings so I'll just go through those quickly. I got some Burberry ones which I thought was cute. Gucci ones. These are one of my favorites. They're super versatile. It goes with everything. I love that. Fendi logo pants. Did get like a matching jacket with it, but I haven't got a chance to wear them together yet. This I'm sure you've seen on my Instagram multiple times because it is one of my favorite joggers. These are Gucci baby blue, but it says Gucci on the side of it. I love that. Um, goes with everything. I've worn it with a lot of different color sneakers. I love. You can even dress it up, ladies, if you wanted to. You could wear some heels with it as well. Yeah, and then these are just like regular, I don't know, different colored joggers. I have. I wear a lot of joggers, obviously. Just all my girly dresses for you know once in a blue moon when I decide to be girly which you'll see on my Instagram too maybe like one every ten posts you'll see like a girly vibe obviously one of my favorite things in the collection if you guys saw on one of Kaisa's vlogs was when he surprised me with this which I'm still super hyped about that I actually even own this literally one of my most favorite things and I actually proposed to me when I was wearing this so it has a lot more sentimental value to me than the normal person yeah so I don't wear it as much as I'd like to but it's just because I don't want to wash it off and I'm worried about washing it and ruining it because it's not like I could go out and just grab another one. One of my favorites in my collection. Definitely never getting rid of this. You know it goes for five thousand now. Like I said, the sentimental value behind it is way more than five thousand. Like I wouldn't even want to sell it for five thousand. And then I have this one. I love this jacket. It's an oversized Balenciaga hoodie. I wear it all the time. I love this. It's super easy. I just throw it on with some leggings, some joggers, throw some sneakers on. It's black. Goes with everything. Love it. This I wear this like so much it's like Kais in his Givenchy shirt it's a Calabasas crew neck this is a Fendi track jacket I have it matches the leggings that I bought which I haven't worn together yet I wear a lot of black obviously so the black section is probably the most light but I don't care. Supreme jersey, which I think I've only worn like two times, but I love it. This is from the men's section. LV, this was like, oh, it's dirty. That's cool. Poop stains. No. <gasps> what is that? I don't know. 
Oh my god, please don't let it be bleach. Okay, moving on. What else do I have? Let's see. Um, this is my absolute favorite shirt. I don't care that it's not hype. I don't care that it's girly. Baby Milo. Hello Kitty. So cute. Like, if you don't like this, you're weird. This one's pretty cool. It's 3M. Pink also, so I love that. I got a, just a plain black, like, Stone Island sweater. Of course, we got the Astro World hoodie. It was only right that I had some Astro World gear to match base. Damn, I didn't even know you had that. That's fire. Yeah, it was actually like an exclusive. It was like an online exclusive. It was released at the store in Canada, so I ended up buying it. I got this uh, Gucci t-shirt. That's pretty cool. Wasn't that mine? originally yeah. oh you're you, right you bought it for me too oh yeah yeah you're right i got it for you and then you didn't like how it fit because you said it was short so of course i put it in my collection <laughs> off-white hoodie this is probably my second favorite off-white thing that i have i love the floral on it because it gives it that girly vibe but you still have the classic off-white logo on it and then i got this calabasas uh what is this like a windbreaker got my gucci sweatshirt i wear this often which is why it looks like it's kind of faded i love this i just got this from the jumpman la store 23 and the jordan on the back i think it goes really good with the jordan ones that release in this colorway which i gotta get something from the icy ghost collection too i got a lot of like jean jackets my favorite one for sure is gonna be this off-white jean jacket I actually this is also a men's item them as well i love the freaking sleeves the back of course is my favorite this i love this this is the only bape jacket that i freaking own i think and i remember i was like in sticker shock because i didn't know how much it was so when we got to the register and i realized how much it was i was like what the heck i, I, I didn't even know if i wanted it but after i bought it i wore it a lot this is the only other bape jacket that i own pretty cool i love this i wore this also on all-star weekend white which i love and pink of course can't go wrong there just cut this one it's a palm angels jacket i love windbreakers too i got a group with kai so i feel like it's very versatile goes with it in any weather but this i thought was super dope again a men's item yes i know and it's pink so of course it was like a no-brainer for me i had to cop guys just got me this the cause uniqlo collab of course the pink one this is up here because it needs to be dry cleaned but this is one of my favorite designer items it is a versace jacket see up here i just have sweaters and like dust bags for all my designer bags and stuff nothing too crazy there um, this was an off-white jacket that Kais actually got me. It was a Paris exclusive, so that's super dope. I love the colors. They're really cute together. Um, this is another off-white jacket. I love it. Oh, I guess the same thing happened to Balenciaga. Designer, bruh. I know, dude. I originally wanted it in the black. They didn't have the black. I ended up getting the gray. I'm actually glad I got the gray. Crew shirt. I'll never get rid of this. I love this one. All of a sudden, All of a sudden fam. fam. I got a lot of, you know, like, girly clothes, Damn, too. is that a Raptor shirt? Okay, yes, this is a Raptor shirt, but in my defense, it's because it was from Drake night. I am a Drake fan, as everybody knows, even though I didn't like how he acted during the finals, but that's another story. Here's another one, Gucci Fire Stuff. Never really understood why they spelled Gucci wrong half the time. This was the one that we stood in line eight hours for just to make. Yes, I know the front is super plain. Um, I got the Marikami logo here in the corner, um, and then on the back, I had them do the off-white here. This is actually one of my favorite vintage crew shirts. I am gonna call it vintage because I think it's vintage. Okay, but this is from like way back in the day when he really these I remember we were just friends at the time but I still remember when he was like when he had this shirt so I'm glad I got to add this to my collection now too this is probably my second favorite babe shirt that I own I love Betty Betty Bape. I actually wore this to Complex Con the time when I stood eight hours in line for that off-white shirt. So, yo, this I got this from... Oh, got another Gucci shirt, of course. It wouldn't be right if every other shirt was a Gucci shirt, you know? This is my favorite crew neck, which, again, ironically, is from the men's section again. I told you it was gonna, there was going to be a lot of stuff from the men's section. I love this. I think it's um, super dope how it was made and everything. The only complaint I have on it is that it's really thick, and it makes me look super boxy. That's why I don't really wear it, but that makes sense because guys have broader shoulders. Well, yes. he looks like me too, right? I don't know about all that. Anyway, moving on to my favorite off-white item that I have would have to be this. I absolutely love the back. Like, I think it's super dope. I wear it as a crew neck with the leggings. I wear it as a dress. I wore it with heels. I wore it with sneakers. I've worn this so many times. I freaking love it, and I will continue to wear it, and it'll be in my collection. I got this uh, Supreme CDG hoodie. Guys, you're looking for your t-shirt. Well, here it is in the form of a crop top. Wow. 
we cut it i love this this is like super girly it's designer it's freaking classic it looks almost has a vintage vibe to it i love it i wear it i wore it a lot love it i have a lot of i gotta stop going to the gucci store this one i stole from kai so i love this okay like literally i wear this with shorts a tank top and some sneakers super cute from his summer 16 tour which by the way was my favorite tour ever like just reminds me of how great the freaking show was and experiencing it like front row twice was just i can't even thank you it was only right that i also have a chalk line jacket this is my favorite one i love it actually in this colorway more than the one kai says of course i had to hold on to this i wear this around my friends sometimes and they're like dude that's dope we'd love to have that blah 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 so and it was like made like two days after my birthday too that was cool and you know my man has a Givenchy shirt he wears all the time i have one too but i don't wear mine all the time oh my god you have it mine's a white version this one actually i love this everyone loves the simpsons chill man okay mood every day i love the back it's freaking pink here we have this is like my sum of my warriors gear that i have i have a lot of it still tucked away in like my drawers i have the curry all-star jersey that i wore to one of the all-star games we've been blessed to go almost all of my jerseys are curry jerseys i'm a huge curry fan i love him so much i love that he's so humble and such a great basketball player and i will always root for you but i have a lot of his jerseys these are all his jerseys warm-up jacket that they wore i wanted the white one but you know they were sold out my size i got these two also i love both of them i've worn them a million times this color i love this color everyone who knows fashion knows this is like the color of the summer right now and everyone's wearing it hence my crazy nails which have got to go but um this is a super dope i love this okay i got this i don't know kai's got this for me like a little bit before my birthday and i thought it was like appropriate for me to like pack it on my birthday trip and then it was sick because kai's ended up surprising me to sit courtside at the warriors game so so there I am sitting courtside in this like really bright freaking colored jacket and I wore the freaking neon off-whites with it so everyone was like talking to me complimenting me like asking about my fit my shoes like thank you so much for that experience I'll never forget that and that makes me love this jacket even more and then last but not least probably my second most expensive box logo and the only other supreme box logo that i own is this one which of course would be appropriate that it would be like the pink or peach box logo i don't wear this as often as i like but it's because i don't want to ruin it but i just i love the color i love that it's a classic box logo and i think what better colorway than to have for a girl anyway than this so um yeah that's about that's about it so that's pretty much i think everything on my side that's interesting so based off my collection and based off kaisa's let me know whose collection and you like better he obviously has way more stuff because he's been a hype beast for much longer than i have but i think i have a pretty good collection for just starting out so let me know what you think okay guys so that wraps up the closet tour video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys hit that thumbs up i would really appreciate it and like i said before we are going to be showing mina's entire sneaker collection so stay tuned for that video comment down below who you guys think had the better collection who was more organized who had the better hype pieces yeah thank you guys for watching you have anything to say Vote for me. Vote, oh, yeah. Vote oh, for me. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. We're out of here. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. They just want to do it how we do. Living my life like the Beatles. I just pulled up with some lethal. They get it mad and deceitful. I make it hard to be peaceful. They tell me I got an ego. But I'm putting up for my people. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. They just want to do it how we do. Living my life like the Beatles. I just pulled up with some lethal They get it mad and deceitful I make it hard to be peaceful They tell me I got an ego But I'm putting on for my people